Hello guys. Good evening. How is everyone doing? Welcome. I know I have a camera in front of my face tonight, but at least I have, um, I hope a little bit better lighting for y'all this evening. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, Jennifer says she's ready to craft. Yay. Okay. So I'm Amy with Lily Bean Designs. If you're just joining me, um, hop in and say hello and tell me where you're watching from and all of that. Um, I just realized I have no paint water, so I'm going to run and get paint water really quick. If you are watching from a group, a Facebook group, make sure that you allow StreamYard to, uh, to share your profile so that I can see who you are, because otherwise it just says um, Facebook user. Um, oh, good. Vanessa said she's been waiting to get this file done. Very good. Okay. So I'm hoping that my lighting is going to be better despite the, the phone over my face here. Um, and my little banner disappeared. Hold on. There we go. Okay. So as y'all know, we are talking about SVG Clubhouse tonight. Um, hello, Vanessa. Hello, Deetra, Jeff, Jennifer. Hello, everyone. And Lynn, Jeff and Lynn from St. Louis. Welcome. Okay, let me run really quick and get paint water. And y'all talk amongst yourselves. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Okie dokie. I have my little mason jar, my little mason jar of water here for my paint. Um, somebody's watching from Panama City, Florida. I cannot see your name though. Please let StreamYard share your profile so I can see who you are. All right. So tonight we are going to be painting the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the stockings were hung. Some pieces have shifted around here and are all over the place, but um, you'll see what we're going to be doing here in just a few minutes. We're going to be painting this um, shaker frame. So if you haven't painted a shaker frame before, if you don't know what they are, um, then you're in for a treat because these are super fun. And I found some cute little fillers. Comment and tell me if you are the person who told me about these little, um, these little fun things that I got today at Michael's. These are Santa's. So these are little Santa faces. I don't know if I can if you can see them better on the overhead camera. Do you see the little Santa faces? How cute are they? I almost didn't find them. I looked everywhere. And then these are little peppermint candies. How cute are they? So before I was always using sequins for my fillers. I couldn't ever find um, some other filler items that I really liked other than Etsy. And um, I didn't bring all of those down here to Louisiana with me. So, um, oh, Vanessa, thank you so much. Yes, it was you. So I looked all over today and I finally found them. They were hiding, um, my Michaels is not a very big Michaels and they were hiding um, with some Christmas stuff on like an end cap. So I found them, but they were picked over. So there was only one of each of the little, the two that I bought today. There was only one of each of those. Now they did have some red and green shimmery sequins that were pretty, but I really wanted to just stick with red inside of these stockings. So, um, so I picked up these two and hopefully these will be enough for my four stockings. So this file is one of the files for SVG Clubhouse. If you don't know what SVG Clubhouse is, um, we're going to talk about that a little bit tonight, and you can also click the link in the video description and uh, learn all about it and read all about it on my website. Um, this is my private membership group that opens three or four times a year to new members, and we are open this week, and today is the first day. So the first day that we open, we always offer, well, we offer bonus files all week long, but if you want all of the bonus files, you need to join on the first day. So that's today. So I'm going to show you those bonus files in just a moment, um, but let me tell you a little bit about the club first and foremost. So when you join the club, which is $15 a month, and if you join, you get, or if you join the annual uh, membership, then you get one of those months for free. Um, so you get like $15 off of your annual fee. Um, Sheila says she loves the clubhouse, so many great ideas and fun crafts. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you love it. Um, we do have a good time in there. So um, what you get as a club member is you get four exclusive laser files every single month. Um, so um, each month I give you four files that you can't purchase anywhere else. You can't get them on my Etsy. 
Etsy, they never go up for sale. Even like down the road, they don't go up for sale outside of the club. So um, you, as a member, you have access to those exclusive files. Now, if you get in there and you see some previous month's files that you like and you were not a member then, because you're now a member, you can go purchase those past month's files, but they never go up for sale to the general public. So um, you get the four files every month, and those are usually a tear tray, a door hanger, a shaker file, and then one other miscellaneous file. Now, we have been occasionally, instead of a tear tray, we'll do a shelf, a shelf set, like a shelf sitter set, um, or we will do, like, instead of a shaker, we'll do, like, um, a, another sign or a banner or something like that. But we try to change it up a little bit because I want to cater to everyone and make sure that um, everyone, you know, gets what they want and gets things that are going to sell well. Because a lot of people are selling the um, the files. I can hear like an echo coming out of this phone up here. Let me see if I can turn it down. So if anybody uses StreamYard, let me give you a hot tip. This is StreamYard, which is what I'm using to go live on the two screens. And I'm going to make the I'm going to make the overhead screen big here in just a minute. Um, the only way to get the sound to turn off on this phone is to put a pair of earbuds in it. I've tried everything. Um, plugging it in doesn't work. Um, earbuds, that's the only way to get, to get it to not make the horrible feeling like interference sound. So anyway, if y'all are wondering, because I know I've had people ask me about StreamYard. Um, thank you, Vanessa. That is so sweet. So, um, we've been painting the files for October over the past few days. And I'm going to show you those. If you've caught my live over the past couple of days, then, then you got to see these files already. But let me show you what we've been making. So this month, um, the October files that we made are this door hanger. So this one says, pour yourself a cup of cheer. And it's got the cupcake, the cupcakes, the um, coffee cups or hot cocoa cups, whatever you want to call them, stacked on there. We painted that door hanger. Um, one thing that I do is I give you guys a detailed supply list of all of the projects. So you get all the, um, the paint colors, you get the links to like supplies. So like the link to the paint, the glue, the, um, the wood beads you see on the, um, the little handle up top, the, uh, the wire, um, just everything that I use. Um, you get a detailed supply list with clickable links every month for all four projects. You also get the marketing photos. So you get to use the blank and the painted marketing photos to market your products. So you don't have to go and make the product products ahead of time. You can go ahead and start throwing them out there, engaging interest to your customers. Um, we also have a private Facebook group as well as a membership portal where you have access to all of your files and you can ask questions and share photos and get advice and all of that. Um, so all of those are member perks. We also do a live paint party every month. Um, we have lots of fun in our group. So this is our first file for the month is the door hanger. The second file is the tiered tray. So this is our Mrs. Claus's coffee company tiered tray set that we made. And I painted that live yesterday. So if you missed that video, um, scroll back on my page and you can watch that. And then the third file was this Christmas rainbow macrame uh, car charm. So it could be a car charm. It could be a some other kind of charm. It can be like, you know, you can hang it wherever you want to hang it, but I think it's really cute and I had fun making it. And I showed my, my group how to do the macrame, like the fraying on the macrame. And I gave you all the links to the, um, the macrame cord and all of that. So, um, hint, hint, one of the bonus files this week that I added on at the end is a Halloween version of this. I have it like a, a gnat, like one single gnat flying around in here. So I know y'all can't see my whole face right now. Um, so there's a Halloween version of this in the bonus files. So join today if you have not joined. So you get all of the bonus files. And then today we're going to be painting this. Uh, this is the fourth file um, that we're painting today, the stocking shaker. Okay, now the bonus files this week. If you join today, you get all of the bonuses. So the first one is. This, uh, how I, I mixed some Halloween and some Christmas up with the bonus files, y'all, because I know some people are still wanting Halloween projects. So we have a little Halloween and a little Christmas in the bonuses. So we have this, um, which like welcome my pretties bicycle door hanger. Um, I'm going to be painting this tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central. Um, so tune in on my page and I'm going to paint this door hanger live. But this is the one, if you don't join today, 
then this file goes away. This is only available if you join today, the, the witch door hanger. Um, this is the shaker file. So just like we're doing a shaker tonight, this is another shaker. So you get to see how those are made. This one is a 10, I think it's a 10 by 10 or 10 and a half by 10 and a half. Um, and it's got shiplap lines on it. And we're going to paint that and we're going to fill the little, um, I don't have it in front of me. I, I bought some brightly colored um, sequins to go inside of the candies. Um, so we're going to make that a Halloween shaker. And then we have this um, uh, shelf sitter set. So if you, you saw the tear tray, this is the coordinating shelf sitter set. I always stumble over those words. Um, so this one coordinates with the tear tray set. Um, we're going to be painting this one one day this week. And that's another bonus file. And the other bonus file is this door hanger. So this one is a snowman door hanger. He's hanging his little laundry outside. Um, it says, baby, it's cold outside. If you wanted to put, do you want to build a snowman on there um, instead? That would be super cute. Um, I don't know if that's trademarked or not. I'm not sure. So I did not put that on there, but it's, um, I put baby, it's cold outside, but you could change the phrase on there. So he's got his little laundry hanging on the little line. Um, one thing about these door hangers is I always give y'all a split version of the door hanger. So if you want to make a full size 18 inch door hanger, um, there's a split version in all of my door hanger files that I've, I started adding this feature about four or five months ago and all my files in the group have it. Um, so you get it in a split version where if you don't, if you're not able to cut a full size door hanger with your laser, like you have a smaller laser, Glowforge basic, or you don't know how to use your pass through door, you can cut this in two pieces. Um, and the line is hidden in the shiplap, um, engraved lines. So you can't see it and you can put it together. And then we have like a fastener piece that you can glue on the back to keep it from coming apart. So those are the four, um, bonuses. And then, like I said, this one there's going to be a Halloween version. So that's a fifth bonus file that if you join today, you get all of those. Okay. So let me get these off the screen and I'm going to make that big. So we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you how to do this shaker. And, oh, and by the way, I, I always tell you all this. I always forget to, I try to attach the dots on my eyes and the apostrophes and things in my files, but sometimes I get um, I get excited about my files and I want to hurry up and cut them so I can play with them before I give them to y'all. And then I realize once I cut them for myself that I still need to go back and do that. So your file, the, the dot on the eye is attached on my file. The dot is missing. I don't know where it went. I have this random little thing right here. I was going to use as my dot, but, um, yeah, anyway, but yours is attached. I promise <laughs> in the file. So let's go ahead and take their little pieces off of here. If you have questions, just let me know. Let me pop your comments back up so I can see if I missed something. Can you offer the designs in the clubhouse as DIY projects to our customers? Absolutely. Yes, you can do basically whatever you want with the files. You, you just can't obviously sell the files, but you can sell blanks. You can sell finished pieces. You can do kits. Um, that is totally up to you. They are your files to enjoy and you can market them in different ways. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is the frame. So I'm gonna take this off cause we're going to just paint the back of it white. Use a little clay peppermint. Oh, that's true. Vanessa, that is a good idea. Oh, see y'all are always so creative. That is a perfect idea. I might do that for sure. Well, I think it'll work. I think it's big enough. Yeah, that should be fun. All right, I'm just gonna slap some, a coat of white on here. If I had a sponge, I would just knock this out with my, with my sponge, but I have not. I buy these sponges that are um, like shrink wrapped. And I haven't gotten any of them out and let them like poof up yet. I need to get, I brought, you know, I brought some supplies down here to Louisiana with me. I tried to, to divide up my craft supplies into um, stuff that I was leaving. Y'all know if it's my house, it's going to have a dog hair on my craft table, right? So anyway, um, I brought some sponges down here, but I haven't opened them up and gotten them gotten them to poof up yet. They come like flat in packages.
You could also just use whiteboard. Sometimes I use whiteboard for this, just easier. This is just deco art white paint. You could use chalk paint, whatever you like. You could paint something else on it. You could do like, sorry, I'm trying to get, <laughs> this has been in all honesty, I don't have enough, I never have enough table space. So I put my projects on the floor as they're in the queue, like waiting to be painted because I don't sell them. I'm not selling them like that, y'all. They're just mine. They're just for me to paint, to show y'all how to paint them. Um, so they sit on the floor and then my, my dog and my cat come in my craft room and they sleep and you know. So yes, that's the way that goes. Um, make sure I'm not missing any of y'all's comments. Okay, so the uh, link to the clubhouse is in the video description if you would like to join. We've had a lot of new members joining today. If you have any questions, you can um, email me at amy at lulubeandesigns.com or you can just ask right here if you want to. If you're watching in the replay, um, I will go back and check your comments later on after I get off here. My husband and I are going to make fish tacos tonight, late dinner. So that should be yummy. We have an ample supply of fish down here in Louisiana. We are never without fish. <laughs> so we have a freezer full. So we try to come up with creative ways to cook it. Fish and shrimp are plenty. Brick pattern cardstock like a fireplace look. See, Vanessa's got all the ideas. <laughs> Vanessa, you can always email me these ideas. So, um, you can help spark my creativity. Sometimes I tend to go with like a simple, just kind of plain, plain Jane version of my files because I feel like it appeals to more people. Um, and you get just like a basic idea of what you can do with a file. But then I love to see what you guys do with my files because some people are so creative and they come up with so many cool ideas. All right, I'm gonna let this dry over here on top of my trash can so yeah it's really fun to see what you guys do with my um with my files i'm trying to keep my hands from being completely covered in paint by the time i get off here tonight getting paint everywhere all right so the stockings were hung i am going to paint um this in black and i got paint on that so, you know what I think I'm going to do? I am going to just use, normally I would leave this in the backer, like the, you know, the cutout that the letters came out of, because that makes it easy to paint. Um, but I did not do that because I needed to photograph the, um, the blanks for y'all. So I've already, like, discarded the outlines. So I'm just going to take some black deco art paint. And I'm just going to kind of paint this this way because I feel like this is the quickest way to get some paint on here without boring y'all to death watching me paint black and white because that's kind of boring, right? But I do love black because, of course, the laser edges are almost black. So it pretty much never looks like you're getting paint on your edges. Of course, I'm getting paint on my table. But that is okay. This table wipes right off. I was just trying to figure out like the quickest way to get paint on here for you guys. I get to show you how easily this table um, wipes off when I'm done. And some of these letters aren't attached to the rest of the word just because that's the way the font is. 
It's just one of those fonts, but I love this font. I can't remember what it's called, but it is on the supply list. Oh, that's the other thing. So the supply list that you get with your monthly files um, has the fonts on there. So it has like your paint colors, your, your supplies, your links, and your fonts. And it tells you the size for your projects. So it just makes it simple. It was so beautiful outside down here today, y'all. It was like 83 degrees and just so nice. Um, apparently back in Virginia right now where I'm from, it is already very cold. So we are enjoying this weather down here for sure. How do you split your craft supplies? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I basically went through, I did have duplicates of a lot of things just from over the years having like, you know, a craft room and just having so much stuff and owning a craft business. Um, so I just sort of tried to, I was like, okay, half of my paint, half of my brushes, half of, and I mean, I had to go out and buy some things when I got down here and like order some things from Amazon, but um, I don't know. I just tried to, you know, my labels that I use for shipping, my packing tape, my painter's tape. I just tried to kind of like make, Fill two boxes and divide it all up, which worked pretty well for a lot of things. Okay, so this is where we're going to talk about how the shaker works. So, for the stockings and for the toppers, this is what you're going to have here. Let me just get rid of like all these little doodads because that's just going to confuse you. We don't need these doodads right now. Setting the names and the holly aside. All right. So we have, oh, and by the way, this, this file comes in anywhere. You can do anywhere from like two or three stockings up to eight stockings. So I gave you like different sizes and labeled them all. So if you want to do more stockings, I gave you uh, all those options and I sized them accordingly. All right, so this one, of course, has four. I have four people in my family. Um, and what you end up with is you end up with a layer that's cut out of quarter-inch material, and then you have a layer that's cut out of eighth-inch material. Okay, so I have two of everything because I want it all to be uh, level. Okay. Um, oh, Vanessa says she should turn the heat on. Oh, yeah. 47 in Jersey. Oh my goodness. All right. And the way this works, or I'm, of course, my acetate is laying over here. Let me grab all my little acetate pieces. Hang on just a sec. All right. And then we have the acetate layer. If you don't know what acetate is, it is clear. It's the same stuff that, um, Overhead transparencies are made of. Remember those from school? This, let me hold it up under the overhead. Okay, this is acetate. It's clear, all right? And mine came with like a uh, tissue paper backer. And so some of these pieces still have like some piece, some uh, bits of the, the tissue paper on them. So I'm just, you know, peeling it off. Just getting all the tissue off of there. I actually cut it on my laser with the tissue still attached because it. I put the tissue on the bottom. It tends to um, not have flash on it if I leave the tissue on while it's cutting. And everyone's always afraid that they're going to set their laser on fire. I mean, I can't guarantee you that you will never have a flame up um, on any laser because I don't know how clean your laser is. I don't know like the details. Okay, good. We have four. Um, of what you're doing, what material, what thickness, what speed. I don't know any of that. So I cannot, I cannot promise you that you're not going to have any kind of like flame up or flare up or whatever. But with mine, I cut it on the same setting as cardstock and it cuts like butter. Um, it cuts really quickly. It's so thin. You just can cut it really, really fast. Um, you can also use acrylic. I would use a thin layer of acrylic. I think 
I don't work with acrylic much. So y'all tell me, is there, I think there's a thinner acrylic than eighth inch, right? Isn't there 16th inch acrylic or am I wrong? Something like that. There's a thin acrylic. So you could use that instead. But I just buy packs of acetate on Amazon and it's super simple. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. You only need to paint the top layer of these. You don't need to paint the underneath layer, okay? So we are just going to take the thicker layer out and we're gonna paint this top layer. Now the reason these look different colors is because one layer is cut out of um, wood and the other layer is cut from MDF because the only eighth inch that I had was MDF and the only quarter inch I had was wood. So that's just what we did, but you'll never know. Um, yes, you've only seen it in black, white, and clear. Oh, the really thin 16th inch. Yeah, I thought it came in like a really thin, um, like, like a really thin, thin thickness. Does that make sense? A thin thickness? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna paint this top layer of these. So of course, we're just gonna do traditional, I don't want this big of a brush. We're gonna do traditional red and white on these. I'm using, I'm painting a Christmas project and I have a 4th of July paper plate over here that I'm using to paint. We're going to just do the top in white. Just like so. Now I've had people tell me that they use eighth inch for both layers, that they don't use any quarter inch for shakers and that it's fine. It, it works out just fine for them. I do quarter inch because from the bottom layer, because I feel like it gives the little sequins or filler items a little bit more room to move around. So I think it probably is going to depend on what you were using as a filler item. Um, the craft stores have lots of different things you can use. I use, I don't use glitter. I use sequins. I have used the fake snow before in a snow globe shaker that I did. That was one of our projects last Christmas in the group. We actually used a, um, those plastic ornaments, those round plastic ornaments and that, you know, that come apart and we used half of, of an ornament as the snow globe topper. And that was really fun. So we did that in the membership group last year. So if you want to make some snow globes with the clear ornaments, grab those clear ornaments before they're sold out because they were hard to find last year. They sold out quickly, at least in my local craft store they did, they sold out. And also what would be really cute on these if you wanted to do it, you could glitter the top of these stockings, this white, you could put some white glitter on here. That'd be cute. If you wanted to just do like, if you wanted to be extra, like shakers are already extra, right? But if you wanted to be extra, extra. Now it does make it a little bit more difficult to glue on top of glitter, but, but it's possible. You can do it. So like when you're putting the names and the holly on, it's a little bit bumpy to glue on top of, but it's, it definitely works. Okay, I'm going to have to do another coat of white because y'all know white on MDF. And 
I really want to use paint pens, but I'm not going to use paint pens because MDF just sucks up paint, y'all. I don't work with MDF very much. And when I do, I'm like, oh, it sucks up paint. Okay, this is Deco Art True Red. Deco Art Americana True Red. You could do different colored stockings. You could glitter this part of the stocking if you wanted to. Y'all know I love to glitter stuff. But I'm not going to mess with glitter tonight. I think the filler is going to be enough on here. Now, if y'all want me to, my group members, those of y'all in the group, because this is a group file, if you want me to, I can give you, I can go back in and add a piece to this file that is the solid backer for the stocking, for the entire stocking, so that you can make it without mounting it onto the backer the frame, you know, the rectangular frame that we just painted white. And that way you could make these ornaments. And that would be super easy. I could go in and add that to the file if y'all want me to. And then you'd have stocking shaker ornaments. That'd be fun. So just comment and let me know if you want me to do that. Um, I've never made a shaker before. I'm looking forward to it. Donna, it's addictive. <sighs> I got the idea when I did scrapbooking because we did shaker cards when I did Stampin' Up! back in the day. And I thought, why can't we do this with the laser? And it has been so fun. I, I swear there aren't enough hours in the day because I would have a ton more shaker files. I do have lots of shaker files on my Etsy. Oh, I failed to mention one big perk of being in the group, you guys, of being in the membership group, and that is that you get 50% off all my files in my Etsy shop. All my members get 50% off. So however many files you want to buy at any time, you get half off of them as a group member. I don't know why I totally forgot to mention that because that is one of the things that um, I think people like the most is getting that big discount. So yeah, you could go buy all the shakers you wanted for a deal, a steal of a deal. So in other words, if you join today, you get nine files today, plus 50% off whatever files you want in the shop. We are open through Sunday. You can join all the way up until Sunday, but today is the day that when you join, you get all those bonuses. Every day that you go, that goes by this week, we drop a bonus. Okay, so those are our stockings. And let me just go back over really quick with another coat of white. On these toppers, these little cuffs, whatever you want to call them. Um, you're doing the oh, little town of Bethlehem. Are you talking about the engraved signs that I sell the engraved files? Yeah, those are great for events. Those apparently sell really well at, um, craft bazaars. Those engraved signs and they're pretty, they're easy to make. They do take a little time because if you're engraving the backer, some people score the backer. 
Um, but they do take a little time if you're engraving, but they are easy. Very little painting involved. When I'm making stuff like that that's going to take a while, I turn my little camera on, my laser on. I'm not ever telling you to leave your laser unattended, but I do have a camera. I have a wise camera that I use. And, um, but I have it pulled up at all times. So like if I'm in my kitchen, I have it on my iPad screen on my counter right there. So I'm, I'm still watching it the entire time. Um, but, and then I just let it go. I let it do its thing while I'm doing other things. And so that makes it super simple. All right. So we've got our little stockings. I forgot actually to do the frame. So let me real quick. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do the cheer method on the frame. I'm sorry, I'm finding places to put everything here because it's wet. Okay, and my wood, my wood is a little uh, warped, but it's going to be okay because we're going to use clamps, so it will be fine. Okay, we're going to stain this with a little bit of Deco Art dark chocolate and a baby wipe. Got to have baby wipes on hand for painting. You're painting and gluing your last Halloween countdown. Oh, you are? You're doing the Halloween countdown? That is my most popular file, the Halloween countdown coffin. That one is, um, is really fun. Whoops, I'm getting paint on my acetate. No, 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 I don't want to do that. It's clear and it's sitting there and I didn't see it. Uh, easy but time consuming. Yeah, it does take a little while. Now on my thunder laser, I can crank those out pretty quickly. But yes, on Glowforge, Glowforge is a slower engraver. Glowforge is a pretty engraver. I will say that. Like it, because lower power lasers, if I'm not mistaken, this is my understanding. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you are a skilled laser user and you have a bigger laser my understanding is that the lower powered lasers have a better engrave they do a, like a prettier engrave i that being said i have seen some amazing engraves on the thunder laser i don't engrave a whole lot i engrave shiplock lines and i engrave my the files that that she's talking about the ones with the lettering i do engrave those okay so put that over here and oh, that's a mess. That's a mess. See how this just wipes right up, y'all. I do have some glue on it, and the glue is what is not coming off. But I've ordered some. I've ordered a product to get the glue off. It's called Debonder. Thank you to Laura for recommending the Debonder. I'm gonna be trying that. Uh, <clears throat> you've sold seven of the Halloween. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Jillian, you have an Omtech. I've never tried going over 400 speed. Okay, so for shiplap lines, I do 500 speed on my 100 watt laser. Yeah, I do 500 and uh, the power I, is either 20 or 30, depending on the wood for shiplap lines. But I don't think I've gone over... I don't think I've gone over 500. All right, let me get my little names out here. It's my husband and me. Where's the Y? Try to turn these over the right way. Make sure that I have my letters not upside down when I paint them today. And then my son and my daughter. I did not new I did not do pet stockings for this one. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm just gonna use a white, I mean, not white, a black um, pasta pen for my little tiny names. 
And you can add whatever names you want to yours. This is the font that I used for this is called the Skinny. That's what I used on these names. And you could do whatever font, you know, for your names. If you prefer to do a cursive font that is connected to make your life a little easier, you can certainly do that. Or you don't have to put names on them. You could do your pets names on there. And if you wanted to, this would be cute. You could, instead of cutting out the holly and the berries, you could, um, you could put little bones on there if it was your, for your dog or little, like people do fish cutouts, like fish shapes. If it's your cat, that would be cute instead of the holly. Oh, you're planning on doing your dog's name with the bone. Isn't that going to be cute? I did that one year. I did stocking tags on my Christmas stockings and I did um, a bone and a fish for my dog and my cat. I don't think I ever even posted pictures of it because Christmas just gets so busy. I barely have time to make things for my own house. Um, and when I do, I just I don't get around to even like taking pictures of it half the time. Y'all, I bought stuff today at Michael's to make a fall door hanger for my door. And I want to do something totally different. So I will, when I get it all made, I will show y'all how I'm adding the floral and the bow and everything to it. I'll do a video. I'll go live and show you. But it's going to be totally different. It's going to be, I think, I mean, I tend to change my mind as I'm creating. But my plan is I want something, I love a big door hanger and I have a single door and I'm thinking that I'm going to do an oval, a big oval door hanger for fall. And I might use whiteboard for part of it. Um, but then I've got floral, I've got some really pretty um, floral and um, really pretty ribbon. Michael's had 70% off of their fall ribbon today and I got four spools of, I'll show it to you in a minute. I can show y'all my florals and my ribbon that I bought it's sitting over here in a bag. I don't think I need this tiny of a brush, but okay. All right, we are doing, yeah, I don't need this tiny of a brush. Let's do this one. This is called Irish Moss. This pink color. And I have been loving it for Christmas projects. It is Grinch Green. If you're looking for a Grinch Green, this is your Grinch Green. Somebody pointed that out to me and I was like, oh my gosh, it is. It's perfect Grinch Green. This is it right here. This is, whoops, sorry, Irish moss, very pretty green. I also like festive green. Festive green is a pretty Christmas green. I really hope that my husband is going to cook the fish tacos outside. That he's going to cook the fish outside on the cast iron pan. If he's watching, um, hopefully he gets the hint. <laughs> I don't want to cook fish in my house tonight and stink up my house. Only found that color at Joanne's, bought three. Huh, I am thinking where, I know I got it at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I got mine at Hobby Lobby back in Virginia. So I went shopping so far here in town in Louisiana. 
I've been to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Home Goods, Marshalls, and Ross. And I have to say, it is no different from my hometown. They're basically the same. The Hobby Lobby is really awesome. Michael's pretty good. The Home Goods is awesome. The Mike, the Marshalls is pretty good. <laughs> and the Rock horrible. That is how it is in my hometown. Does anybody else have that experience with those stores? I think I need that little bitty brush now. Where did it go? My little bitty brush. I was hoping that, um, here it is. I was hoping that I had a decent Ross because I've seen some girls on YouTube posting um, their Ross finds and they find really cute stuff there. And I did get throw pillows for my sofa. You can, you can do some cherry picking in Ross, but it's just, I don't know. It's always a disaster. It's always wrecked. And just, I don't know. It just doesn't ever look very nice in there. It's just really, it's not very inviting. Hobby Lobby is always like so fun and cheerful and pretty and everything is so nice and organized. Only Ross here is down the shore, two hour drive. Yeah, I was hoping we had a TJ Maxx, but we don't have a TJ Maxx here. There might be one in New Orleans, but there's not one here in Homa. I like TJ Maxx, but I love Home Goods. I do pretty good at Marshalls. I find um, I find clothes at Marshalls, and I find house house stuff too. But I tend to find more clothes at Marshalls than I do at uh, TJ Maxx. Okay, so we may need to do a second coat on that red. Um, but I think for now, we're going to go ahead and kind of start assembling our shakers. Now, um, this white on here, because um, we're putting this white on white, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress this just a little bit so I can get it to show up a little bit better. And thinking that I'm going to distress with gray which I don't normally do, but I kind of don't want to use black. So I'm going to try this. Let me find a gray that will work. I think probably this zinc or zinc or gray storm. They're very similar. We're going to, we're going to just go with zinc. Um, so I'm going to take that and we are going to just put some on our plate. And I'm taking a, a chip brush. I get these on Amazon and I'm getting some gray on my brush and then I'm getting most of it off. And I'm even taking my paper towel to get some of it off just to kind of, cause I don't want very much on there at all. All right, and I'm just gonna kinda, gonna kinda do that. I wanna get it on the edges and I just want to give it a little bit of texture so that it shows up more on that white background that you'll see in just a minute. Because the laser edges are dark, You can do white on white, but you have to sometimes give it a little distress to get it to show up, especially in pictures. I like that. I like that better than black. It's a little less harsh. And I'm no painting expert, but this is just kind of some, some things I've learned over the years that work for me. All right, let's see. All right, let me try to make some room because this is a big, a fairly big sign. So this sign is laser, sorry, this sign is Glowforge friendly. It is 
Um, I'm not sure the exact measurements. I don't have them in front of me, but they are on the supply list. But it is um, like 10 by 19 or 10.5 by 19. It's, it's size that it will fit in the glow forge. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue our frame on. So what I'm going to do is just go around with my glue because we're going to we're going to have to um, clamp this. And this is um, Starbond, Starbond medium glue. If you can get the thick, get the thick. The thicker your glue, the better because it won't run. This is from Amazon. It is also on the supply list. All right, so I've got my handy dandy clamps. The clamps are not on the supply list. Um, I can add them to the supply list, but I use these clamps all the time. I actually have found them at Dollar Tree, believe it or not. But I've also, when I couldn't find them at Dollar Tree, I have ordered them from Amazon. And I think the Dollar Tree ones are maybe two to a pack. Comment if you know how many are in a pack. And this glue dries fast. Okay, do I not have a one, two, three, four, five? Do I not have a sixth clean? Yeah, I don't. That's actually on there pretty good though. Okay, so get back up here on my chair. All right, so now what we're gonna do is make sure that we have space for everything. So let me lay everything out first. And I'm gonna take one of these and go ahead and move it over here. Stockings were hung. Okay. Now I'm not standing right over top of this, so it's hard for me to get a good idea of um, if this is straight or not. So I'm gonna do the best I can from the angle that I have to do to, to let y'all see what I'm doing. But of course, if I was doing this not live, I would stand over top of it so I could see it better. Move these down a little bit. Just make sure, see, so you gotta make sure you have room to put all your pieces. Might have to move my letters up a little bit. All right, let's move these letters up just a hair. And then make sure the stockings are angled how we want them. All right, now I'm gonna, hopefully I can take my clamps off because this glue dries real fast because these clamps are kind of in my way right now. Okay, so here we go. This is what we've got so far. And then of course the little dot on the eye would be attached. It's attached in your file. All right, that looks Fairly, fairly straight. Let me move these down a little bit. I'm kind of looking at the distance they each are from the bottom to gauge where to put them. All right, I think that's pretty straight. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and glue these down because remember, these don't have to be painted. Um, where'd my glue go? Here it is. All right, let's glue all this down. Just doing little dots of glue. All
And of course, I got a little dab of glue. Let me get that up. There we go. Let me apply my glue not over top of my project. That is always smart. So it's not dripping on there. Use a scrap piece of wood to measure between the frame and the stocking. Yes, that is, um, I've done that before. That's a great idea. You could measure and put a little pencil mark if you want to, but I'm just, y'all know me. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I'm live. I'm doing the best I can live. So yeah, there y'all go. Okay, so I think that lettering looks pretty straight. And now we'll do our bottom layer for our stockings. And I'm just holding that top piece to keep it from shifting. And we are doing mostly Christmas projects right now because y'all know this is the time of year when everybody's making Christmas stuff to sell at the craft shows. So I am in fall mode with my own personal projects, but I'm doing Christmas for my members because my, my members tell me they want um, their Christmas files ahead of time. So we did fall and Halloween already in the group. So what we do is we're actually going to do another month of Christmas. We're going to do two months of Christmas because you can't have enough Christmas, right? And then we will move on to either winter or neutral themed projects after that. Okay, so now we've got all those glued down and we are going to fill our little stockings. This is the fun part, y'all. With doodads. We're gonna use our little, our fun little doodads that we got today. Oh, these are so cute. I love them. They're so adorable. I wish they had some cute Halloween ones. They had some Halloween like glitter, but I actually found brighter colors just in the regular glitter section. Um, Melissa, this is Starbond. I use Stickfast or Starbond because um, they both are really about the same. And sometimes one will be cheaper than the other, or I can't find one. They're very, very similar. I really can't tell the difference. I love these little, um, I'm calling them doodads. So if y'all can see, these are, I showed at the beginning, but hold on. If I put the top one, I can get it closer. These, these are from Michaels. Let me turn them over so y'all can see better. Hold on. I've got to get it where it, all right. That is, come on, focus. These are little Santa faces. Is that focusing? Yeah, these are little tiny Santa faces. And then these are peppermint candies and sprinkles. I think they're called non-parels, non non-parels, I don't know what they're called. But they're little peppermint candies and the little, like you put on cupcakes. Super cute. This is the container. It's called Recollection Specialty, Specialty Glitter. You can't really see the label because the, you know, because of the color of the little filler things. But yeah, they're at Michael's. All right, so I have filled, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do um, what Vanessa suggested, and you know what I need? I need my, I need my pick-me-up tool. I did bring my pick-me-up tool down here. So this is my tool that I use to pick up little loose pieces. This is the Silhouette Pick-Me-Up, and you can get these on Amazon, or you can get them at the craft store, 
And I use these to grab little stray sequins and, and pieces from for these shakers. It works really well. So I'm going to do Vanessa's suggestion. It was Vanessa, right? Vanessa, you suggested this. You have all the ideas. I don't want to give the wrong person credit, but I'm fairly certain Vanessa suggested this. Doing a peppermint candy for the dot on the eye since I lost my eye. <laughs> That's super cute. I love that. Okay, so now we are going to close these up with our acetate. All right, so that's when we get the little clear, clear piece of acetate out. And now you have to be really careful with this part. This is why you want thick glue. I'm going to, hold on, I got some stuff to the nozzle. I'm going to just very, very carefully dab this glue. And you do not want to drip your glue down in your shaker. Super careful. You can use tweezers to do this if you want. I just kind of line it up with one edge and drop it down. Just like that. I should have patted my little uh, my little inside pieces down better. They're trying to pop up. Here, hold on. No, I'm not, I'm not going to lift that up. My little, I probably got carried away with how many pieces I put in there. My little Santa heads are keeping this from, there we go. There we go. I just popped them down. There were some of them that weren't letting this piece lay down. Let me make sure that all of these are nice and flat before I put the next ones down. And don't overfill. Yeah, if you're Santa, if you use these fillers and the Santa things are sideways, it can kind of get in your way. Oh, thank you so much. I love it too. I love, love shakers. It's going to be really cute when we get the, the painted layers on. All right. So now again, with just, you don't need a ton of glue. Don't get glue down in your, inside of your piece here. Number three, I'm just making sure that I have all the dust off of my um, acetate. Acetate can be a little dusty. All right. I gotta hold this one down. This one's wanting to pop up just a little bit for a second. Come on, stay down. It's very light, so that's why I said if you've got any of your little things that are wanting to sit upright, like this one's got one sitting upright in there, it's like trying to pop up my plastic. Okay, so now we are going to put our painted pieces on. So I'm gonna do my glue on the back of those. Just make sure I have those lined up right. These are a lot of fun. You can also set something a little bit heavy on top. I'm sure y'all know that trick.
totally off topic today, totally off topic. Did y'all see that they are looking for someone to, whoops, oh, see, I'm talking and I'm not paying attention here, y'all. They're looking for someone to play the part of Harry, Prince Harry in The Crown um, for, I don't know what age he is, but I want to say he's a teenager. And it says you don't have to have acting experience. I'm sure they want you to be British, but I don't know why that popped in my head. I think about things like that that happen during the day when I'm crafting at night. And it just popped in my head and I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of neat that some kid's going to get the opportunity to play him in The Crown. Do y'all watch The Crown? I love it. I think... I think I might be a season behind. I think a season happened and I didn't watch it yet, but I'm not I'm not positive about that actually. Okay, so the rest of these are staying down pretty good. Now we're gonna put our little toppers on. Sloppy. It's getting late in the evening. Y'all stop me from being sloppy, being a sloppy crafter. This is late night crafting for me. Okay, so we've got our little stocking toppers on, and now we're going to do our names. And our um, holly. How cute is that going to be? Let's do, let's do our holly first so we know we have room for it. And I have an idea for the holly, actually, like that I literally just thought of. Oh, you don't need to put it all over the back of your holly, y'all. Well, depending on where you're going to put it. Just put a little glue like right there. Just like right there. Oops. No, no, no. Don't move. That one's not dry yet like this just like this now I'm gonna do the names first but then I have an idea I want to show y'all if I can find it I think oh yeah I have it I have my little supply for my idea how cute are these oh my gosh y'all I love this I'm gonna go out there and show my husband he's gonna be like oh my gosh seriously He's uh, he's like, you're doing Christmas stuff? I'm like, yes. You don't understand. We're making Christmas stuff. Yeah, I have a cute idea. It's going to be so cute. Hold up, y'all. Let me make sure my kids' names are going to fit on here before I glue them down. Okay, so like I said, you can do up to eight stockings. You can do more than eight if you want. I just put eight. I sized them so eight would fit, like I made smaller ones, to go up to eight. Because if you get a lot smaller than that, then you may not have enough room to put your fillers. But that all depends on the look you're going for. So you might could make this a little bit, these a little bit smaller if you need to fit more than eight. Uh-oh, you have to fit Christopher on there? Um, yeah, you're going to want to... You're going to want to use a font that's connected, first of all. Uh-oh. Where'd my ego? I think that's it on the floor. I've lost my E. Maybe that's it on the floor. 
Oh dear. I painted it. I had it. All right, where's my E for my girl, for my Katie girl? <laughs> Y'all, seriously, I'm blind as a bat. And this carpet, this rug in here has a texture to it. Well, I found it. I found it. Here it is. I'm going to stand up for a minute. I'm getting tired of sitting. Yeah, you're going to have to make your name little. Christopher. I've got paint all over me. I started off being nice and neat. Okay, so the, it's not dry. I don't want to shake it too much, but you can see the shaker pieces inside. See how they move? They move more than that, but like I said, I don't want to move it too much because it's wet. Okay, but here's my idea. You all ready? So I have this. I haven't used this in a while. I love this on door hangers. This, whoops, sorry. It's The camera's backwards to me. Y'all know that. This is Tulip Slick. Uh, true red dimensional fabric paint, also known to us 80s girls as puffy paint, right? This is puffy paint. Thank you, Brenna. Yeah, maybe you can just put Chris Vanessa. So let me see if it's not clogged all up because it's been a very long time since I used it. I really can't believe I brought it down here. Oh, it works. This is set for a long time. So this is what I'm going to do, y'all. I'm going to put this on my berries and I'm going to make my berries puffy. Now, if you do this, you have to let this sit overnight. It's not going to be dry for a long time, but it's going to be so cute. And it's really easy to work with. This stuff is super simple. Y'all can't even see that. Let me, let me close, do it up close. Oh, Vanessa, you're sweet. I, occasionally, I have an idea or two. I don't know that y'all can even see it. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, you can see it. See how puffy? Whoops. See how it's puffy? I love it. How fun is that? My little puffy berries. So fun. So, yeah, I keep this stuff on hand. I don't know why. These are the three colors. These are the three colors that I keep on hand. So I've used, I've used red, I've used black, and I've used white. Those are the three that for some reason, like I, when I do remember to pull this stuff out, um, those are the colors I tend to use the most of. So yeah, I have those colors. All right, so that that is it, y'all. Thank you, Sheila. All right, so I'm gonna try to move this. See the pieces moving in there? How cute. And like I said, I can give y'all an ornament backer so y'all can make these into ornaments if you want to. Cute, cute, cute. And you can do all different color combinations. They're so fun. They're really, really fun. Okay, so let me show y'all my um, my craft haul today. Okay, so hang on. I'm gonna get my bag. I gotta go this way because I've got cords blocking me from getting out this way. Hold on. Okay, I went way overboard on ribbon and florals for just one uh, one door hanger, but it is what it is. All right. So I have, okay, first of all, first of all, to make, all right, so I showed you the, hold on, I'm going to pull it up. The witch better have my candy shaker that we're going to be doing one day this week. I forget which order it's in. I'm sorry. I don't have it in front of me. What, every day that this week I'm going live to show you all these projects. So one day this week, I think Tuesday, wait, Wednesday, Thursday. I think it might be Friday, but anyway, we're going to be doing 
that shaker file and the three colors that I got today for the candy because I'm going to paint the backer a light purple. And then I got this bright, whoops, let me take it off the screen. That would help. I got this bright orange, really super sparkly from Michaels. And it looks like it's little triangles or something, but it's almost like a, a fluorescent iridescent orange. And I don't like orange, but this orange is really pretty. And then I got this, which I know is weird to throw blue in Halloween, but I think it's going to be really cute. Y'all have to see. All right, so this is blue, and I think these are stars, if I can see correctly. And this is all recollections from Michaels. These are, yeah, it doesn't say what color. It just says don't eat it. Thank you. That is helpful. I won't eat it. Okay, and then <sighs> this color, because look how pretty this green is. And I thought it's just like such a cool, like, lime green for Halloween. So we're going to be using those three colors for the candy. And then... Can't see your comments hold on and then i got okay so i'm gonna make a fall i'm gonna make a fall wreath not a wreath i'm gonna make a door hanger i'm gonna make a fall door hanger it's gonna be i think oval and i think on the bottom i'm gonna do i'm gonna call it the wrong thing a herringbone pattern and then on the top it's just gonna be stained and i think it's just gonna say hello fall which i know is very cliche and boring, but that's what I want. I want something very elegant on my door. Okay. So we're going to do that. That's my, that's what I'm envisioning. I'm not hundred percent sure, but the ribbon that I got today, I'm going to have to move this because this literally clashes with my fall ribbon. I'm going to show you. So I don't know why I have, I need all this ribbon for one wreath. Well, not wreath door hanger. You know what I mean? Okay. So all this ribbon is 70% off at Michael's. Okay, so these are the four, I can do that again, do, 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 like that. Okay, these are the four ribbons that I got today. Look how stunning. Okay, this right here, I just think this is just so pretty and elegant. I don't know what it reminds me of. I think it reminds me of um, Dishes that my mom had when I was little. Remind me where your new house is. Say hi, Gary. He is watching with me. Oh, hi, Gary. <laughs> is Gary okay? So who is Gary? Is he your son, grandson, friend, boyfriend? Who's Gary? Tell me, Sheila. <laughs> but hello, Gary. <laughs> okay. So I just thought, is it what is this a pheasant? I don't know. I just I don't I don't know, y'all. I thought I thought that this combo. Could just make the prettiest bow. So I'm gonna make a bow with this. Um, you need options. That what's that's what I tell my mom. Yes. <laughs> so well, I like a funky bow, and by funky bow, I mean the bows that have like different ribbons thrown in. Now, am I gonna actually end up doing that? I don't know. But if I do, I will go live and show y'all how I do it. I have the bow Dabra. Oh, your husband. Okay. Hello, husband. Hello, Gary. <laughs> okay. So that's my ribbon my and if i make this door hanger i'll sell the file if you guys want it in my Etsy shop and if you're a member you get it for half off okay so look at these these they come like wrapped in this paper which is kind of weird but i'm not going to use the paper i'm just going to use i just think these florals are elegant because i really love this yellow gold yellow kind of color i love that and i think that this which looks kind of like a little eucalyptus ish to me i don't know i don't know my florals oh i'm sorry i'm in louisiana homo louisiana so i got two of these and then i got i got this to go with it because i thought that's really pretty to go with it because i like just like wild looking kind of florals sometimes and then i got this which is different it's different to bring this color in but i thought that that would really go with this ribbon, right? Bring that purpley blue in from this ribbon. I thought that would be so pretty. And then one more. I told you I got way too much stuff for one door hanger. And then I got this because I love, like I said, I love that yellow. So I'm going to do something with this and then that ribbon on my door hanger. So yeah, we'll see. I have not done anything like this in a while. And I will tell you that 
for some reason, even though this stuff was all on sale, by the time I left Michael's, I, for what I spent, I could have just bought, probably bought a, a door hanger or a wreath. But this is more fun. It's more fun to make it, right? And I never make anything for my own house, like that's not a, um, like I make stuff, I make stuff like I make files for you guys and then I'll go live and I'll make something and I'll end up hanging on my door because I'm like, well, I have it. Might as well hang on my door. And it's, and it's cute. Like I love it. I love my door hangers, but I don't put a hundred percent like detail, detail time and everything into ones when I'm live, because I feel that pressure of like going kind of quick to not sit here and dawdle. And, you know, so it's not, it's not like you go at the same pace and you're as meticulous about a project when you're, when you're live, cause you got to get it done in a decent amount of time. So I don't feel like they're, they're sale worthy. Like I feel like I want to um, just use them on my door. Sometimes I'll give them to people, but um, anyway, so this time I'm like, no, I'm going to make something that I envision in my mind for my door that I love that I just really want, you know, that's totally different. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm excited about that. Um, Vanessa says, perfect match. Thank you so much. I do love fall wildflowers and grasses. I think they're so pretty. Okay, I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to go make fish tacos. Um, <laughs> thank you all so much for joining me tonight. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. And if you haven't joined, please, please, please join tonight because you don't want to miss all the bonuses. They're super fun. And we'll, I'll be live again tomorrow. Tomorrow is... The Bicycle Witch Door Hanger, which I love. I'm so excited about that one. So I'm going to make that tomorrow. May or may not glitter something because, you know, I love to glitter. So we'll probably glitter something on that one because Halloween, I feel like of all the holidays, the glitter for Halloween just, it just, it had, what are the young, the young kids say now? It hits, it hits right. That's what they say, right? It hits different. It hits right. Yeah. So I learned all these things from my daughter. Okay, she's going to be like, oh, dear Lord, Mom, please don't talk like that. Um, thank you, Vanessa. You guys have a good night as well, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.